Hello everybody. Welcome to Body Capsule. Today we will discuss about pigmentation. What is normal pigmentation and what is pigment disorder? Skin pigmentation disorder refers to a range of conditions that affect coloration of skin. This disorder occurs due to abnormalities in production, distribution, or function of melanin. Pigment responsible for skin, hair, and eye color. Understanding pigment disorder is crucial for healthcare professionals and individuals alike, as it helps shed light on causes, symptoms, and management strategies associated with these conditions. In this concept, we will explore fundamentals of pigment disorders, their classification, common types, underlying causes, pathophysiology, genetic basis, histopathological labels, and melanocytogenism in different labels. What is pigmentation? Pigmentation means coloring. Skin pigmentation disorders affect color of skin. Skin gets its color from a pigment called melanin. Special cells in the skin make melanin. Well, these cells become damaged or unhealthy. It affects melanin production. What is pigmentary disorder? Pigmentary disorders result from disturbance in melanin of pigment produced by melanocytes that helps to provide color of skin, hair, and eyes, iris. Increased melanin causes darker pigmentation, whereas decreased or missing melanin causes a lighter or white appearance, as it is classified into two parts. First, hypopigmentation. Second, hyperpigmentation. How to establish diagnosis of disorder of pigmentation? First, Depigmentation or hypopigmentation with inflammatory with scanning can be seen in under microscopy of scrapping, vital network, screening for autoimmune disease, as in hyperpigmentation can be seen under endocrine disease such as hypothyroidism or hyperthyroidism or porphyria. What are variety of disorders? With an example, depigmentation or hypopigmentation. Hypopigmentation is a low amount of melanin in the skin. Patches of skin are lighter in color than are surrounding the skin. Skin, hair, and eyes get their color from a chemical called what? Melanin. When skin gets cell don't make enough melanin or areas of skin become lighter, for example, vitiligo, albinism. Hyperpigmentation. It is the darkening or increase in natural color of skin due to increased deposition of melanin or hypermelanosis. Where it can be seen? It can be seen in epidermis or dermis, as it is caused by deposition in dermis of endogenous or exogenous pigments, such as hemosurbin, iron, or heavy metals, for example, melasma and freckles. Pathophysiology of skin pigmentation. It depends upon two factors. First, consideration of skin color. Second, genetic basis of pigmentary disorders. Now, we will talk about consideration of skin color. The color of skin or human skin is mainly determined by two types of melanin. First, eumelanin and second, pheomelanin. As in eumelanin, we can see black or brown color. Or in pheomelanin, we can see yellow red or red brown. As it is present in individuals of all skin colors. Melanin is produced by melanocytes, specialized cells of neural crest origin that reside in basal layer of epidermis. The biosynthesis of melanin occurs in lysozyme-like organelles called melanosomes, which are transported to cell periphery and transferred from dendritic tip of melanocyte to surrounding keratinocytes. Each melanocyte is also filled with up to 40 basal keratinocytes to form epidermal melanin unit, as in short. Melanin is transferred color to keratinocytes to epidermis. Hence, one melanocyte gets transferred melanosomes to surrounding 36 keratinocytes. A difference in number, size, and aggregation of melanosomes within the melanocytes and keratinocyte, but not in all over the number of melanocytes. It contributes to ethnic difference in skin color. Darkly pigmented 
skin has a higher content of melanin. Higher eumelanin to eumelanin ratio. Different shades of color are due to number one, difference in number, size, and di distribution of melanosomes. Second, different in proportions of eumelanin and pheomelanin. As the different shades of skin color do not differ upon number of melanocytes. As we can see in next picture of melanocytes and production of melanocytes. Melanocytes are singularly responsible by producing melanin, a pigment which imparts the skin with its various shades of color. Melanocytes are defined as dendritic cells located in the basal layer of epidermis. They produce the pigment melanin from tyrosine that is processed through a complex biosynthetic pathway governed by red emitting enzyme. Tyrosine is located with organelles termed melanosomes. Upon maturation, melanin is transferred to keratinocytes for imparting pigmentation to skin. Now, the genetic basis of pigmentary disorders. The biochemical pathway of melanogenesis is under complex genetic control. With hundreds of genes and genetic polymorphism involved in modulation of type and distribution of pigmentation, mutations affecting genes involved in differentiation and migration of melanocyte precursor in neural crest or in proliferation and activity of mature melanocytes that may be involved in pathogenesis of hyperpigmentation associated with inherited syndromes. Furthermore, if we look into histopathological level of melanin skin, it varies in different segments such as level of melanin other side clinical skin color. In navel of melanin upper epidermis, it shows black color, whereas lower epidermis shows brown color. It dermo epidermal junction shows purple color, whereas lower dermis shows blue or gray color. In next slide, we can see epidermis layer of human skin. <laughs> Sometimes we look melanocytic lesion in different areas such as epidermal and dermal or dermoepidermal junction. Here are some examples which I have jotted down, such as epidermal melanocytic lesion, other side dermal dermoepidermal junction, melanocytic lesion. First, in epidermal melanocytic lesion, melasma, whereas in dermal or dermoepidermal junction, melanocytic lesion shows also melasma. Lenticular. Also seen in epidermal, whereas in dormant nevus of water. In epidermal, record nevus, whereas other source dermal of nevus of Eto. Cafe only seen in epidermal endocytic lesion, whereas dormant up or dermal epidermal junction source Mongolian spot. Epidermal menocytic lesion source endocrine disorders, whereas dormant or dermal epidermal junction source congenital melanocytic nevus, acquired melanocytic nevus, whereas in epidermal melanocytic region source freckle, but other side source lichen planus. <laughs>